Tonight, as military trucks rolled down Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the White House, President Trump addressed the nation from the Rose Garden after more than 24 hours out of public view. I am your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. But in recent days, our nation has been gripped by professional anarchists, violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters, Antifa, and others. A number of state and local governments have failed to take necessary action to safeguard their residents. Minutes before the president spoke, military police descended on a crowd of peaceful protesters gathered near the White House, firing flashbang and tear gas into the crowd. Shortly after the president spoke, he walked through that area for a photo op in front of St. John's Church, part of which was set on fire last night. He then held up a Bible and summoned some of his top aides, all of them white, to pose for a picture. It came hours after the president unloaded in a conference call with governors of both parties. He urged them to, quote, dominate violent protesters and rioters. We're strongly looking for arrests. You have to get much tougher. You're going to get overridden. You have to dominate. If you don't dominate, you're wasting your time. They're going to run over you. You're going to look like a bunch of jerks. You have to dominate. And... You have to arrest people and you have to try people and they have to go to jail for long periods of time. On the call, the Secretary of Defense described America's cities as a, quote, battle space. The sooner that you mass and dominate the battle space, the quicker uh, this dissipates. His voice rising, the president told the governors flat out, most of you are weak, blaming them for letting the violence spiral out of control. It was incredible. What happened in the state of Minnesota, they were a, a laughing stock all over the world, never seen anything like it, and, and the whole world was laughing. On the call, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker took the president to task over his rhetoric. I've been extraordinarily concerned about the rhetoric that's been used by you. It's been inflammatory, and it's not okay for that officer to choke George Floyd to death. We called out our National Guard and our state police. But the rhetoric that's coming out of the White House is making it worse. People are feeling real pain out there. Okay, well, thank you very much, J.B. I don't like your rhetoric much either because I watched it with respect to the coronavirus, and I don't like your rhetoric much either.